low country cooking is the cooking of the coastal Carolinas. And of course, the most classic dish from the low country, the one that everybody will talk to before they mention low country boil or anything, is shrimp and grits. The story of shrimp and grits, it's actually one of my favorite items on the menu and definitely one of the most popular dishes on the menu. To me, it's one of those dishes that are so easy. It's only a few components, but they come together so magically. It's a traditional version of like an Edna Lewis style shrimp grits. So we actually make the shrimp paste and add that to the grits and really not a whole lot more than that. Govan Armstrong's been part of the food scene in Los Angeles practically as long as anyone can remember. I mean, he worked at the original Spago up on Sunset when he was 13 or 14. His mom used to drive him to do shifts at Spago the way that other people's moms would like drive him to Little League practice. I was always extremely passionate about food and ingredients, understanding the difference in flavor of uh, vegetables that we were actually growing as opposed to ones that we would buy. From what I gather, he gets all those ingredients from the adjacent gardens, and if not that, then at least the farmer's market. All the greens and the garnishes and the chilies come from right next door. Obviously, hyper-seasonal stuff that comes out of the garden, goes through the sink a couple times, and goes right onto the plate, never goes in the walk-in. Even the pork, we smoke our own bellies, and we cure and smoke them here in-house. It's a local pork product as well. And, you know, it's a beautiful, sweet local shrimp that we season with a a spice mix that we make here in house. And when it all comes together, you know, you have this beautiful, rich bed of the creamy grits, the nice meaty shrimp on top of that, and the smokiness from the pork belly and the spice from the peppers. And it sounds like a lot, but it's literally those uh, few components that come together in a beautiful way. One of the things I'm impressed with are the grits. Grits are notoriously hard to master. Our grits, uh, we cook them for at least an hour and a half or so, and they're well worth the wait. The individual grits turn almost into like these tiny little soft, voluptuous pillows of flavor. The secret of perfect grits is definitely the actual grit that you use. That's one of the products that we bring in from the Carolinas. It's Anson Mills grits, which is definitely some of the best stone ground product out there. I think when, when you taste the grits, you can, you can actually taste the South. <laughs> to me, it's like, call me crazy, but it's one of those things that are very reminiscent of, you know, being back in South Carolina. I've eaten my fair share of shrimp and grits, and I think it's probably the best shrimp and grits in Los Angeles. It's not just shrimp, it's shrimp and grits.